So in this video, we're going to look at VR in Blender and... <laughs> so let's just go quickly. I'll show you how to enable VR. So you edit preferences, simply click VR, bam, turn that on. Okay, so this is the scene here that we've been working on the live stream. So if you haven't already hit the subscribe button to get notifications when I go live, or hit the notification, whatever. If I press N to bring up the side panel, we've got the VR tab. Now let's just do a quick overview. Obviously start VR. Um, blah, 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 blah. More important thing is the action maps. So I use the gamepad just to move around. I can use the Rift controllers, but I just prefer the gamepad because I've got my VR legs. Mirror VR session is so that it will be shown on the screen what is I'm seeing. And then obviously, look, it's fairly straightforward. Let's jump into VR and just have a look what it looks like. So let's have a look around. We're in the back wall let's come through the door even though the door doesn't exist and as we look around it's it it looks pretty suave um obviously this only works in eevee it doesn't work in cycles because cycles obviously have a meltdown rendering in two eyeballs but like mm, the scale seems quite nice it seems nice kitchen bench height uh the bed here hello pretty lady how are you doing oh i'm well thank you brilliant um, and I mean, this is, you know, these textures are kind of like 4k texture on this character. Um, it just, it looks gorgeous, doesn't it? How about we have a look at some other blend files? So if we have a look at this one, this was all created on a live stream as well of a sci-fi trailer. So this is for the pod racer short film, which I kind of almost fell out of love with, which is slightly annoying, but oh well, we can see some textures are missing on the dude's pants. How you doing buddy? You good? But overall... Yeah, wow, look at that. It does look pretty schnazzy. I, mm, mm. That looks good. That looks good. Now, I'm going to do one more of my scenes, and then we're going to jump over into one of Ian Hubert's scenes. So make sure you stick around for that one. So here was the sci-fi pits that we were creating, and the pod race is missing. Um, did I put it up there? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Let me just bring that back down. And then we can kind of walk around the scene. I think we're about here. Yeah, that pod racer looks nice, doesn't it? It looks just... It just looks good. Oh, wow. It is such a, like, a beautiful thing standing in your own creation. Wow. So all these textures are pretty much from Extreme PBR Combo or Nexus, whatever it's called. Uh, that's the default sky texture that comes with Blender. Mm. Mm. Let's jump over to Ian's. And so here we are in Ian's, one of the uh, the hamburger place. Let's kind of just walk up and we might just do, 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 up the stairs. And we come over and go, hey buddy, how you going, mate? You good? You good? Look at that gorgeous gorgeous it's just it brings like a whole new dimension and obviously you can see that it's running okay um i do have a 3080 powering this but yeah oh. <laughs> look at that wow wow just stunning you know if there's any blend files or any scenes that you want me to look at in uh, Blender in VR, jump over to my Discord, send me a message, and uh, send me a download link. Wow, just... Oh. Um, one thing, though, is... Let me just quickly take that off. So, one thing is that... Um, animations will actually make this really sluggy. So that's just one thing to keep in mind. Uh, there was another animation I was looking at by Phil. Um, he's the one that creates the water shader, the fire shaders, link in the description if you want to check out those videos. Um, it was just a whole bunch of pigeons and it really brought the scene down. Um, so animation wise, nah, I think it'd be better off to pump that over to Unreal Engine. But anyway, VR Blender. Mm. If you haven't already, just subscribe. Please just do it.